I don't know how many of you saw that sex video two weeks ago starring a federal commissioner for public complaint in the state, Mr. William Maddy, and two background actors. At the time, it didn't mean anything. You know, adults had their game. But this weekend, that story took a new turn, a turn that gives concern. A 20-year-old boy has been jailed for 12 months. Over what? Blackmail and deformation of character by way of doctrine that video. In other words, superimposing a still shot from a swimming pool to a motion shot of a sex scene <laughs> into one. Really, Mr. Madi? I mean, like, how did you get this done? In two weeks, you have identified a suspect, arrested him, investigated the case, arrayed him before a court, gotten judgment, even jailed him for 12 months. In two weeks, in emo state, where to date, the Supreme Court is still deliberating on governorship matters from 2019 elections. Really, what's going on? Are you paying this boy to take this fall on your behalf? Or have you yet again misused your office by abusing it further, by intimidating, bullying, harassing, coaxing, or whatever it is, to get a young 20-year-old to commit perjury in court? With you, a lawyer, sitting complicit, does that not call for your disbarment, Mr. Madi? I started entertainment at the age of eight. I've been in Nollywood. I'm a pioneer of it from 1992. I'm a trained actor, director, casting director, acting coach, producer, director. And I know what I know, Mr. Madi. What this boy is claiming to have done is not doable as today. There is no app to enable him to do that. And if he has to even try any attempt, there has to be a court. But this is a moving shot with no courts. But let's even agree. For you to superimpose, you need a green screen. And you, Mr. Madi, you need to be with that green screen which makes you part of the conspiracy. So are you? So why don't you just stop the stretching of your lies and do the right thing? Apologize to the people and resign your office, the office that you have so grossly abused. Apologize. Okay, because you're not just a disgrace to yourself. You're a disgrace to yourself, your wife, your family, Emo State, and the federal government who found you worthy in the first instance to have. But you know what? The federal government, they have something with the word Photoshop, so you can just skip them and, and run home to your family. Fall on your face and ask your wife to forgive you. If she's lenient, she might just, you know, do that. But please. Don't insult us, okay? Don't insult Nigerians who are from the scratch have built up the knowledge of making and viewing pictures. Do the right thing, Mr. Amade. Take your fall. It's your shame. Take full responsibility for it. That's the honorable thing to do.